obviously very high movement, being able to get the seals out, being able to, you know, apply pressure in unique ways. It gets looks that a lot of other characters don't quite get in this same kind of game here in Grand Blue. But we'll see how it pans out. If you're able to even get that kind of game plan set up with the potential damage and pressure that Taurus puts out. Yeah, that's going to be the scary factor here in this match. You know, one, we're already reduced on the distance of dash out and already getting some pushback on top of that. So that's almost off the table here for Soros a little bit. But Soros has some great normals that can actually continue to contend in that mid screen range. We're looking at that stand heavy. That is going to be critical for a lot of great pickups as we saw Skip pull off last night. Jump medium to start. Good lord. Already close the distance. Plus it contains pressure, gets the poke, and is able to get the full follow-up. Very nice. And again, look at the damage as we follow through. Two touches here. Set up. We got a couple seals to try to escape. Side swap and blocks the chest flex here. Another two L Chris not quite getting the ball rolling yet. Nice guard cancels. Does seals available to get out of dodge? Maybe trying to bait out a DP attempt, but and that second seal we use to come right back in. And Spotlight came through, turned into a little bit of offense off of the whiff punish here. Very strong stuff. And it's just like you said, I mean, highlighting the normal. Two amazing whiff punishes win the day for Skip in that round. Yeah, it's so critical for Soros here. And we take to the skies, corner carry. Great rounding here from Chaos. Nice throw. Another seal set up to keep the pressure going. Even if we got to pick up for him, we'll be able to get the dash canceled to get some other shots. Yeah, good poke post guard cancel too. I love the extension going for the EX. And now let's see how we go for setup. Oh, just cash out. Just gonna be dead. No setup required. Set up a gravestone instead. Jesus. Great turnaround. You know, one of the flashier characters of the game, and it's certainly on purpose here in Grimnir's character arc for sure. But now already getting bullied back to the corner, sealed for escape, and another one. I love the pace that we're setting up these seals here, not going for the EX to burn out on it. But Take our time in setting up one or two seals. We have one on backup just in case. Skill is able to sneak in the low. Works to the corner. Guard cancel gets flexed on. A little bit of action there. Gets the connection again. And definitely should be able to secure the kill. My goodness. Yeah, and you'll notice too, Soros, we often don't, and I was talking about this last night, we don't see Soros really ever go for install super anymore because ultimate skills are so powerful for this character that we often see Soros really spending there. In fact, we almost never see a Soros go for any of the skybound arts anymore. It's all for reversal and uh, ultimate skill lariat just to keep these combos going. Close in the distance here. Dash through and like, just like you said, the ultimate skill being able to get the wall bounce. Follow through here, but I mean, low on the BP, so the potential for a turnaround is huge, but not off the empty jump low. A perfect to come through. Yeah, and making sure we hit the mark with that raging chain was very important to close it out because the third light would have not killed there if we would have followed through on all hits. Anti air with your chest? Are you kidding me? Skip. <laughs> Little Leo 6P action catches the low again and tries to go follow up with the back throw. Very nice. Stagger pressure here. The seal has been applied. Good block on the card cancel. Oh no, not ready for the Lariat. And once more, we go to Raging Chain. Low on BP, but the damage output is so significant for Skip right now that I'm not sure it really matters. Okay, under bar. Are you gonna spend it here? Goes to EX, keeps up with the ball through. Love the routing sets up for the mix up here. No BP, but it's not gonna matter. Looking for one more touch. Yes. Oh! Yes. No, no, <laughs> what? I thought, no! I thought for sure. I thought... <laughs> Other blonde haired character that is in the game with long hair. <laughs> oh man. I mean, so from your perspective, so playing a little bit of Lance yourself, obviously, I, like, how do you feel about this? I, I like this matchup for Lance. Lance really can kind of warp around the screen, ignore some of the um, the sheep shenanigans, but at the same time, because you can jump off as Anila, she can kind of jump back, go for her anti-air. That's the one thing you're gonna to wanna to watch out for, so you can't just free fall on the turbulence. You have to really kind of bait things out. And that's where you're gonna see teleport into the unique action for the sky to go for fastball. Here we go. Yeah, I like the idea so far already, keeping the projectiles active. Uses the command hop and is able to get the quick connection. Standing reset, but we mash on it. I like that. Dash out. Yep, already got our guard cancel here. <laughs> Ultimate skill, Toads getting charged straight out of the corner yeah. here. Nice reversal, though. That's so important now, the change for Anila's uh, ultimate skill sheet. It, it makes it all the more 
potent for her to get this approach. She's a much stronger character. Oh, straight off the wall. Full confirm. Ultimate skill for the side swap here. Keeps it standing. Nice. Off the wall. This is a percent to go for restand combo if we want to, but because we're already capped out on combo, we go for this reset. In fact, I'm very surprised we didn't set up the ultimate skill ice ball. That's kind of the go to now for uh, Lance. And definitely check back on the uh, Arc World Tour finals for the reason why. Because you're going to freeze up on the opponent there and get you some extra um, startup frames on the opponent because you put that ice on them. Jump heavy. But a good round for Riazza to steal it right back to you. Guard cancel right yeah. there with the uh, spot dodge. Absolutely. The finesse is not quite as good when you have that full screen low. Gets the poke out and is able to keep it in. Maintain pressure. Pokes the overhead, but doesn't get much for it. Guard cancel to maintain momentum to his smart. Attack. Right. Yeah, and the ultimate sheep. It's going to be tricky. You got to try to navigate that space because it's already active. Not going to go for the teleport. You fall into a very bad situation here. Nice empty throw. Frost up the low. You got to hold these guard buttons, folks. Ooh, I like the extension as well. Cute little confirm. The last hit of the projectile sheep allows you to close the distance while you're riding hot. Oh my god. Yeah, so her ultimate skill, the uh, the sheep that come through, they've honestly, they've given Amila plus frames on that. She's plus two now. So, good. Obviously for her, good. Not so good for Lance here. This scenario. <laughs> Oh, and the command hop again. Like you said, the guard button, your best friend in situations like that. Keep the pressure going, though. Plus frames as we you know, steal some turns back here. A little bit of mall coming out. There's a dash L, and unfortunately, you're starting to see that nerf here on dash L. It's almost jarring to see. Like, it really bothers me how short that dash L is for Lancelot, because he's still floating there with the dash L animations, and you're just shy of where he used to be. This opener here, Bed for Skybound for the kill. Yeah, in control. Dude, and the confidence in these staggers. Not even going for dash L's, not even going for any kind of shenanigans. These walk ups, these little faces between the 5 L's and the 2 L's, looking amazing right now. In the tick throw game, the throws have been ridiculous, whether it was empty throws or stuff like this. The walk up during the strike throw and standing neutral. Nice reset, goes for high. No 2 L for you, we're already in the skies here. And forces a guard camp off from Benitas. Nice. Hold these plus frames, please. Another setup. Jumps off the sheep. No challenge quite yet. The 2M does with the sheep follow up. Nice clash. Anita will come out on top here because we go for the light triple attack. Oh no. Side swap. Critical juncture here for Vanitas right now. Off the wall. No resources. Please tell me you're going to spend ultimate skill ice ball here. That's one BP. How are you going to do it? Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god! They trade out with the ultimate skill that doesn't quite work out though. Riazzo pokes out as soon as hit stun is over. A turn. Uh, you know, you might be plus two, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the opponent still isn't going to press. <laughs> yeah, listen, frame advantage is just a suggestion. You got to know it. But let's get into the match here. Straight away is able to go for the low poke, you know. Try and play these little footsies out as best you can. Spends the EX, but doesn't get much afterwards. Doesn't, even with that nerf distance, still able to get the dash L, but not too much of a care here from Vera. Yeah, Vera will be interesting in this matchup. She's going to try to get in with that unique skill here. We'll see if that even happens. Deva keeping a wall of offense. Nice crouch M. Down special there from Deva. Yo, the raw raging strike. Get off me. Kiri's already out. That's not going to punish. It's a quick recovery there for Kiri. Dash up, text the throw. Looking for the pokes here. Slow and steady. I mean, you have to keep control of the corner, though. Now this jump out is actually massive. The BP at zero puts you in a terrible spot. Guard cancel to keep momentum. This is exactly what you want. Yep. Still, see, there's an application of dash up because it was a deeper dash up from. Deva, we were able to follow up that triple attack. Kiri made that slight forward approach and allowed Deva to get that victory there. What did he do to spot dodge or even just block him to make a time there? Not gonna happen. Let's go on that one. Mm -hmm. Go the parry, EX fireball, this is close, nice spot dodge. 
flurry here. Dash out still. And look at the pushback that you get on it. You're much shorter on the stop, but you're seeing that you know, slight float back, which it looks so bizarre. Like, after going for months of seeing Dash L being so aggressive, now yeah. to see, like, almost the two uh, exact magnetic poles clashing together and flip away, it's so funny. Okay, far out super. Gives it full extension. Nice. with the beam after. Nice stop from Kiri. Oh, Oy, no. your ankles lilt up there. Does take the throw in the secondary situation again. Doesn't fall for the strike afterwards and is able to get the counter poke. Defense wins championships for Kiri in this round. Yeah, even on late techs there too. We were sacrificing a little bit of damage, but Kiri still ever stoic on defense. Oh, and the whiff punish there. Little pressure from it. Ends up just with the tech situation. Oh. Missed times the spot. Thought did a great confirm. Yo, you got to throw from that? Come on, you need at least seven more frames. Really? Nice, got the low. Dash M, get you every time with the jump in. Good counter from Kiri. Mm, great confirm, it was close up for the wall bounce here. Very nice, straight into the super. Definitely like the decision here. Hold the beam, the guard cancel out. Late tech, has to be so careful, expecting the reversal here from Kiri. No, 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 no. No! Hey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought for sure they were blocking. They were down backing. No BP. You know you're deleted. <laughs> Y'all gotta add that block button to your controller right now. I need every player in this bracket to utilize block button right now. What a heartbreaker. Hello though finds the throw. Oh, we were buffering. We got poked for our trouble. Yeah, character in the corner. We are just swinging. My God. Yeah, yeah, we really are. Yeah, back and forth between the two. One good GP deserves another. Makes it to the corner. Able to get the activation. Let's see how the mix turns out here. Tries to go for the jump. Normal neutral jump in response, but it still wins out in the strike throw. Should be able to kill off of this one pretty easily. Yes. All right, so Kiri's still able to answer back. No sweat after the interaction with uh, getting called up by a super like that. No big deal. Oh my goodness. That's a heavy poke there from, uh, from Siegfried. Nice. Keep it right through. You can't be pressing like that. Not that close. Changing up the timing on the fireball as well. Nice press. You know, the close frames there. All through and dashes up, goes for nothing. The stagger's not quite working out the way that they were, but one BP remaining gets the connection. Pressing each low. I do like that we're pressing back on lows this time around. We're gonna call out the startup potential from Vera, the close heavy. Nice pick up into the corner. We'll get our install. Oh, we're blocking though. You can't be doing that. Neutral jump even, but no funny. Okay, and a good follow-up there to be able to... Okay, they're just challenging in good places, not letting things get too off the rails, and way to bounce back after a super unfortunate ending to the yeah. previous game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, and even just to put more salt in the wound after that, you need to jump the reversal super from Deva in that final interaction there regardless. So you're still aware. Now that you know that your opponent's willing to wake up, spend the meter, you're going to be paying attention to that every 100% opportunity. Spending up all your resources there, the DP into the poke. The low pokes have been massive. And he went out on footsies again. Dash F. Ooh, yo, I got one too. Let's be careful. Not gonna find the mark, but look at the spends that Deva has. Every EX going off, man. Even though they're on block, you have such a long recovery before you can use that ability again. Nice. Okay, wait. Twice? <laughs> You're out of bravery points now, and Deva just needs a single poke because of it. Yeah, already had a ton of chip coming through as well, putting us down to maybe the final round here. Good, okay, the spot dodge on the fireball, working out perfectly, gets the DP, but now kind of getting harassed, the big boot. Yeah, the clash, being able to press whatever button you want after a clash, very 
uh, you know, opportunity to take right there. You could you could be right after. Doesn't work quite like Guilty Gear clashes, but pretty darn close. Neutral, nice whiff punish. Got her install. Knock back out of Oh, actually gonna carry to the wall. Nice route here for Kiri. Oh no! Somehow gets out of the corner! No BP, but that opportunity steadfast there, just chilling. Says please, dude. What a way to chill. So much pressure being applied in the movement. Kiri just stares at him. I mean, because what do you have to fear? There's nothing to fear in that corner position. Deva had no meter. You have full health and you know BP. So Kiri only had to wait for that single press, just like the previous round. The first round of this game in particular was just the exact same scenario. These two going back and forth. Yo, the stare down. Nice tech. No transformation quite yet, but the dash L has to go for Raging Chain just to make sure we can close this out to a corner carry. Nice down at the end, Clash. And the ultimate skill spot dodges off the Clash! A rock, paper, scissors right there. Just because I can press anything, you could go for that invulnerable move that does win it out. But if I spot dodge, it's my turn. And this throw, very sneaky from Kiri to win it out 2 1. A really good uh, in between for sure. I mean, listen, if you put Tong on the mic for too long, it, something's going to happen. So, <laughs> but, you know, let's get straight into the next match here. Battle one. Uh, near sighting to come yes. through. Near, a little bit different, a little easier to kind of uh, counter. Not necessarily removing her game plan, but she does, you know, have some weaknesses here at the um, ultimate skill ominous turn. You're able to jump over a little easier now. She can't do cancels off of her DP anymore, so... That's it right there, DP. What a shame. It's time to press. Okay, and a strong follow up here. Transformation acquired, but we are able to get the connection on the opposite side here, set up for the mix up. I mean, regardless of the changes, there is still the strength yes. of not only the damage of the combo game, but the mix is still ridiculously strong. Yes, we were seeing that last night from Lazy Ruin, still being able to apply layered pressure with Nier. And that has not gone away. I think that is going to be a key factor for her game plan in general. So I think that's going to remain relatively untouched. But making it a little, a little more fair in the DP department, I think is you know, a very welcome change across the board. And even Nier players could probably agree. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, uh, she didn't need it. <laughs> but <laughs> good cross up there. Is able to get the connection. Full confirm, sets up for the mix instead, Ooh. gets the load, is able to fully follow through. Hold this. Oh my goodness, the transformation does shut down death here. We're gonna start up on it, but good timing here from Char Char. Uh, yeah, put a car cancel. Nice, car kiss off, but we're in chip territory here. No, actually, we need one more hit before we get chip territory. Wow, he was baiting out the throw so heavily here. Dash up into a button this time, potentially, but no. Keeps a chill, ultimate skill, doesn't get much else. Oh, another char with the second hop off the fairy setup. No quite get the kill yet, but you have to do some either. You didn't get combo limit. What do we do, laser? Another one? Death is still out and done. What a finish for Char Char. Wow, Lazy Ruin, the SOS and the text there. You gotta be more careful about your defense. Was really trying to be too active in that spot and paid the price for it. Nice little reset to get the activation. Yeah, that was such a critical moment there because Lazy Ruin only had that one mark of death left and spending it was gonna be the end of you know, the potential threat that Lazy Ruin had. The 2M start here to get out of the corner. What an ominous turn. Let's lock in with a flurry. Deep cross up. Char Char gets opened up for big damage. Okay, good timing on the guard cancel and better timing on the ultimate skill. Able to get the full walk through and take the kill on that one. Char Char, what a turnaround there. Yes. Holy smokes. Okay, all right, Char Char. And you saw how patient Char Char was out of that ring. Even though we have whip throw opportunity, Char Char wasn't quite ready to go for the dash and commitment and knew that with the change to dash L, we're not necessarily going to guarantee a triple attack right after. This is a single hit, maybe another one right after it, a stand medium, but there's always the possibility of utilizing death DP right after. All right, cross up, does get blocked. 
Oh no, opened up a little too early there. Char Char gonna get scooped. Super kills. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the things you just can't ignore. Mileage per hit, Lazy Ruin. It's a couple interactions leading to strong pressure, leading to really two to three touches, depending on the hits. Char Char, not much to do to answer. That's yeah, tough, but we do have Gar Cancel. Try to make that approach. Nice dash out, and again, that far medium has to spend for a special. And once we get that soft knockdown, knows that Lazy's gonna press right after. What near could he resist doing this? Guard cancel from momentum, 1 BP remaining, empty jump low, finds the hit, tries to extend the pressure, guard cancel into a full follow up here, and is able to get the side switch sneaky as always. Oh, builds up on a bravery point, so fully stocked up here, great opportunity for Lazy Ruin. Blocks the transformation, but we still have a follow up from Char Char. Not out of the woods yet, Char Char with the finish, are you kidding me, just off a of transformation. Sneaks it in on the low and is able to get the maximum value because of it here. I think on the potential to end the set right now. Fortunate. There's a forward step there from Lazy Bruin to get the cross something. And Charcar was not ready to block, so he get opened up. Double guard cancel finds a throw because of it. Worth it to spend all those resources to get out of the blender here. Gets airborne really early in this confirmed, so had to look for a reset pretty often. It goes for the cross up, turns into a throw situation though. Ooh. Spins out, there we go. Bash up the heavy, wants to hold that corner position one more time, knows that we're getting close, but the guard cancel, and because we lost death for just a moment, we don't get the heavy follow up for the jump heavy, but in the nick of time, death returns for Lazy Ruin to close victory. out that game. Yeah, I'm glad you point out guard cancel, because we've seen that so often. Char Char, at, at points, has spent two guard cancels simultaneously just to be able to break that and then push Nier away. Definitely has had the right decision with it. Yeah, it's so critical to try to remove that. Oh, nice! After the dash, L was still able to get a far L, and it overlapped on both dash and was able to get a counter Yes, the spin. Lazy Ruins, able to side slot dash M. Oh, two for one of the guard cancel resets into the throw. Yo, ultimate skill corner carry snipe from Char Char, real smooth. Just living up to the name, sliding on in, making it work once again, sitting up around right now. Not a lot of pressure to be had, but it's a good touch and a great start. Comes that pressure. Brilliant call and lazy wound, pulling all the stops there to just stay away because we know that Char Char is waiting for that opportunity. You lost death for a moment and now allows Vera to get that transformation. Nice kill from Chuck to dodge the guard cancel opportunity and even the raging strike on top of it. Skybound art. Move it right now! Oh! Strike with the fairy on top of it. There's no hope and prayer for Lazy Ruin. It is a game. 2-1 victory. And I just went, huh, yeah, you know what? Actually, that was really messed up of me doing that to people. I apologize. Yeah, like, that's, <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> oh, man. Back to it, though. Straight into the next one. Riley up against Laidway back. Uh, on to be a character who also got one of those changes, much like Nier, that you know, was kind of necessary. It's like, yeah, it doesn't make sense that she gets that much reward for hitting, and that being her skill gauge recovers much slower than what it used to be. Right, right. That's a lead so far from Lakeway back. Jump heavy, but don't follow up there. Ooh, what a trade. Yeah, from that distance, I don't think we're expecting it to work out that way. Good bust out. Cross up. Hey, okay, a little chair action, though. Right from there, able to pretty solidly close things out here. Straight into the EX, set up a couple traps for yourself. Alright guys, got the far medium. Alright, nice. Already got Clash out. There's a nice little lead here for uh, Riley. Already got the spear to put back into the hex one more time. I wouldn't say 2B sucks now, it's just 2B to normalize. And yeah. she was, like, it, it was kind of interesting to see how aggressive she could be with how fast the skill would build right back up. Coupled with the fact that her light series would also build up another tip of skill, so she could kind of cycle back into offense over and over again. 
now it's like a, a light touch to this character so that she can't be as aggressive, but it's still necessary that she builds enough skill to kind of challenge back because she has nothing on defense. Oh my goodness, it's actually, wow. Speaking of, if you ran into the low hex, you're dead. Yeah, good presence of mind once again to be able to get the full follow up there from Riley. Reset here into the round three and straight away tries to set up the EX, but you know, poke out, get rid of the seals, definitely strong, and is able to get the full neutral win on the footsies. Jumps there. Another spear, another spear. Full screen. Oh, try to go up to the medium beam, yeah. but was already teleporting there anyway. It's unfortunate though, you didn't get a bigger reward on that first teleport there. The first real attempt at it. Mm -hmm. uh, actually had a big opportunity with the jump scare there, but finds the hit. Conversion in the corner, max meter. All right, nice. Push out, far heavy. Nice hex there with the two H set up. Just uh, so we need a couple more hits before we can get that 100% meter. That would have helped. Would have killed. Would have helped that corner position for Riley. Laid way back, able to pressure out with the medium series and get the finish. First game for Laid. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Okay. Straight through with the air to air. Full setup on the hexes. Runs straight through. Just completely ignores everything. Little track star action. But the guard cancel. Back into it. Nice jump heavy. Yeah. Great. Great. Oh. Right back to DP, right back in the corner. Make sure we hold that position. Nice. We bounce back in the hex, of course. Dash M, but the DP out for late here. We'll make sure we also hold the corner. Oh, this time goes for the cross up there. A little block button action, but. Maintain in the corner, sets up the rock, goes for the spear, uses the guard cancel again to maintain momentum. Heavy, there's the spear. Nice with another throw. Yeah, and even with no BP there, that's such a threat. Right, that's the medium. Heavy right back out with the guard cancel. Oh. Nice cross up to jump heavy. <laughs> yeah, max distance on that one. Good teleport get out of the corner. He is able to get the poke as well on the counter hit. Full extension. So we set up the mix. Has to prevent the jump, keeping them grounded. Splat dodges the rock though and gets the poke. Jeez, nice double jump to avoid the anti here off the 2H. Doesn't even need the float here to get the full punish. Good positioning for Blade. Has to be so careful. So you don't want to go for the medium beam there, the medium special. Chain was very lucky. So that could have been spot dodge. Could have gone the teleport there even if we wanted to. So close that gap very quickly. No tech. We're blocking here. Please tell me we're blocking. Yes, indeed. Oh, too far still though. And <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my God, with that amount of life. I mean, you gotta take a risk. You can't afford another block string there. You gotta respect it. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, screw it. Either I die or you die. I chose you. Nice. Bounces right back to the hex with the dash medium. Dude, doing a great job with these extra air actions to be able to completely avoid the two H. That's just been militant for the ant here. Gets the punish. Nothing really to follow though. Just maintains pressure and a guard can kind of neutralizes that as well. Yeah, just going for the light uh, down special there to keep that uh, block stun going off the wall. Finishing up here does Riley. The first game for them here. I think Cag's theme is like collecting the mini kit of Legos in the Lego game. <laughs> you know what? Remember Lego Island? The oh, no. classic 90s game? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> a good poke with the chain. <laughs> Deleting that. <laughs> you get the double jump. This time was able to block the jump heavy. Great. Strong attack. 
a better poke here. Maintains pressure, but the Hex just pulls them on in. Veneer still gets the better of it. Still gets remaining and finds a throw. <laughs> the dash medium here. Okay. okay. Well, Skybound art and just actually maintaining the bravery point lead here. But this seemed to bother Riley all that much, to be quite honest. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Cat's game plan doesn't change very much as the BP changes, the BP goes down, right? Yeah, no kidding. It's like, oh, all right, well, that's, that'll do, that'll do. Just like that, sitting on what could potentially be the final round here. Again, top 16 winners is a top eight qualifier, so you put yourself in the best spot you can. Oh my god, baits out the throw, big reward for it. Potentially one more touch depending on how the route goes, but we get the guard cancel. Yeah, that's absolutely right. With the single touch left here, potentially you get that hex set up. You're building up the meter. By the time you get both hexes put up, nice. First area here is throughout the set. No respect for it at all. You're going to get blown up for this one. Not quite killing. Old land of the smoke is able to just frame trap into the spear, working out very well. Final game, final round between the two, a top eight spot on the line through the winners, and the hammer wins the day immediately. That was a cheap job. I mean, with this 50% life lead, hopefully we can maintain it. Oh, the teleport does connect. And let's return the favor, put you right back into the west side of the screen. Cancel. Dude, these little delays, the extra yeah. air actions to kind of mess up the anti-air timing has been a game-winning type of decision. Not enough to kill, though. One more chance. Louise, the instant beam. Good shot here from late way back to take it 2-1 over Riley. And what was actually a very... <laughs> yeah, the, uh, on 2B, no less. Like, another yeah. character... Sure, sure, sure. 2B, 2L, okay. One. Uh, all right, well, we're getting into our next set. Artorius on the Sigri with C. Weezy on, uh, oh my goodness, on Soros. Yeah, we saw C. Weezy in the ladder bracket yesterday for Paragon Online. So, still a couple Soros in this bracket is no joke. Oh, he, he full punish this. Yeah, not what you want to see. A grip of your life coming off right off that. Okay. Cross up does get blocked. You have a guard cancel trying to get that room that you're looking for. But the expert doesn't get much for it. Harassment with the dash normals here, but the ultimate skill just to break through. It's honestly Artorius is. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well, we're not even. I was gonna say Artorius isn't too far off in the life deficit, but now looking at it after that spot dodge on the raging strike to spend your last PP, it's only gonna take one touch to see Weezy. Just a jab. The tech on the throw, you're not gonna take damage anymore because of the new patch. You're at that 500 health point. You're not losing any more health off of uh, tech throws there. Or excuse me, off of guard camps. My mistake, my mistake. You still get bad tech damage. <laughs> and after all that, all that patient play from Seaweeds and dash up into the axe kick, that's all it takes. Don't forget a new that that was no bravery points right there. Yeah, two or four will do whatever it wants when you have no bravery points, okay? <laughs> like Star cancel out. Fireball with a two end follow-up there to get the soft knockdown jab in your face. There's no DP from C to get out of that corner. Oh, counter hit makes things a mess. Gonna spin straight into the super, which is definitely a good call. Oh, guess it's your life in the corner on that one. Tries to go with a big follow up. The ultimate skill is dealt with. Back step there, even. I already got the follow up right after Artorius putting a round on the board. That felt like more like what I was expecting here. I mean, Sig just yeah. doing a great job controlling neutral, controlling the pace. Oh, but the whiff punish. Far heavy. Up for the follow up series here. Does get the raging chain follow up after. Star Cancel wants the corner position. I don't care about your heavy. I'm going to go for a DP. Oh, and then another big stagger on the dash. L straight through with the ultimate skill. 
say neutral head. jump attempt. Yeah, neutral jump attempt, actually, because you knew the poke was coming was definitely good, but finishing off this life total when you have no, uh, only one BP, excuse me, guard cancel to send it to none. You are in the danger zone. 100 meter? Yeah, absolutely. No! Should have been it right there. That could have closed it out. Artorias in trouble and knows it because it takes one ultimate skill lariat. That's why I put the fireball up. Chip is an opportunity, and oh my goodness, what did I say, Proxy? The Lariat, the Lariat! It's just like we saw before, getting aggressive, trying to control the pace. When you get your opponent to that life total, you can kind of bully them in ways you normally wouldn't be able to. You don't see, uh, you don't see stories kind of walking down Sig in spots like that. No, not at all. I need to follow up here. Yo, how many stocks do you want? Fired up the whole lot. What do you think this is? Oh no. Oh boy. Yeah, ultimate skill Lariat for wall bounce. Most heavy raging chain. Uh oh. Back though. Changes the situation a lot. Even with the guard cancel here. Ultimate skill to break through and gets the low, but nothing after. That was supposed to be far L raging chain follow up here. Did not hit the mark. Artorius might actually finish this out and does. That could have been really bad. If you would have challenged off that uh, initial counter hit to shut down the Raging Chain, you should have done it yourself there. You had, well, you might not have had the 25%. I don't remember the meter follow up there, but you would have caught up on damage significantly there. Walking to the corner already on two clean hits. The straight for the ultimate skill. The tech comes through and we guard cancel the 6-6L, which is very, very smart. Cash out the damage as far as you can. Not enough to kill and no BP. Sick of this, I'm just gonna kick the, the crap death, out of you. The near death experience! Oh my god! I'm gonna hit you real hard! Oh yeah? Here's my foot. Off to the corner we go. Atoria's getting robbed left and right. Oh lord! Next kick, another one! Stagger with the lights, also nice. Tries to go for the elbow with the dash normal, not quite able to find its mark. And it, oh, dude, with EX Fireball, the, situ the situations you're in after you block there are so heinous. You gotta go for that spot that like you saw from earlier matches. Get out of here, another EX Larry in the corner. Ultimate <laughs> skill. What did we start with? We didn't even start with a special. Did we try to spot dodge? It was too early. Hey, listen, just as God intended. Potentially might be the, the way of the future, but you know, we'll maybe talk about that during another break as we are going to get into our next one here. Yes. K-Tang on the Narmaya versus K-Actor. That's scary on Sheeta. Oh, wow. Dash M. Nice knockdown here. RL will actually get the corner carry and the finisher here. Spend all the skills and look at that. We've got him back in the nick of time. Follow up after the next interaction here. Jump in. Guard cancel gets you some room. A guard cancel in return. Definitely the smartest thing you can do with the back throw. Potential for an incident as we get a counter hit poke. It is actually huge. Yeah, K Tang so quick in this corner. And with Darmaya, can actually dump damage. I mean, look at this. No bravery points. Gracious. One more interaction is what it's going to take. Nice cross up block here, and Kiri is going to spend right away. That is tragic. Trying to press a button after the cross up, did K tag and couldn't get called out for it. Battle two. Unfortunately, not hitting quite as deep as they thought they were going to here as we get into our next round. Good poke on the anti air. I like situations like that where, oh, as we try to go for the walk through, unfortunately gets crossed up. Have you still trying to? Yo, that was an attempt for KT to close the gap, but immediately shut it down with the Rekka series from Kiri. Back in the corner position, jump you. Guard gets out for KT. Yeah, you can't fool with me with the, with the aerial crescent. No, no. On um, the clean counter hit. High potential here because you're able to get the juggle after the DP because the height is correct. Spend that skybound art and able to secure the kill for it. damage output of Jita, another one of those things that is always going to be a constant. Like, she is, 
hurting so much, has great normals, plays a little bit differently than Gron, you know, the you know, pseudo archetype, right? Like, this is the Ken to the Ryu of the game, right, in a way. Um, but she does have that record as opposed to Boo. But those normals are still very well shared between the two characters. Nice DP. Okay, L. Still gets a little bit of push out, but. It's tough to say if it really matters considering she gets pushed out at the range where it's max range heavy for Gita. Oh, the restand just makes it so fundamental. The strike throw, the ultimate strength of these two characters, like we were talking about. There you go. Straight into the super once again. Should be able to secure the kill from it. Damn, Kiri does it again. And like you said, the Gita damage is just absolutely off the wall. It's. When you, she is the two touch character. She has been since the previous game, and Gron shared that spotlight for a little while, and it just completely went to Gita, a hundred percent here. Like she, oh, no DP there. Right, but we'll see how the rest of this goes with EX DP into the corner. There's no guard cancel at the max range heavy. Here we go, crouch medium on the dash up there from K Tag. Would have had to do a roll. And that's such a risky bet to make to try to go through that. Because if you're wrong, you put yourself in a very punishable situation. Bar heavy. There we go. Called out the unique action to go for stance switch from K-Tang. And because we slow things down with ultimate skill, the get over here because she doesn't play like Scorpion. That's different game. Different game sick, entirely. <laughs> okay, that'd be sick though. You know, give her, give, her a metered, uh, give her a metered option to pull you. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, dude, but here we go. Straight off with the ultimate, uh, excuse me, just the EX fireball there. Is it looking at the 6-6-L for trouble, but here's that touch from 2B. Oh, dash up, just sneaking a throw, and there's that DP get off me. at that range. The medium series from Blade Way Back is not going to work out here. Takes to the skies, and Wait takes their time here before administering the 2H full punish. Dagger L. Okay, we got our tech. Oh. And approach here. Has to be careful. We do steal our turn because lay way back. Made a retreat from the corner. Wavy. Daring you to make that jump and come anywhere near my airspace and get anti. Beautiful carry. Oh my god. The ultimate fireball. Beating it completely cleanly, but here we go. The follow up with the super. Takes all of the BP. And with no BP remaining, I don't know how much you're going to be able to live this. Good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, we're still fine. We I just lost that BP. <laughs> we, we just lost the BP, so I think that helped us a little bit here. Final touch interaction here. Oh! Dude, Lanza goes straight into it. The EX wins the day, it takes the round wavy. Listen, she called a shot with the eSports, making it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in. Nice. Just staggers with the close L. Unfortunately, not gonna get the confirm off the initial hit. Stop here. Two M. Nice oh. spot on the raging strike. This is a great opportunity. Spends the ultimate skill to get the rumble state. Ooh. Out of the corner, that is a hell of a normal to Antier. Chains to itself in the sky bound hard to follow. Most close heavy to pick it up and I can't believe it hit right above the dome of Siegfried like that. That is insane. Yo, I got a, I got a far heavy for you here too. In fact, let me show you what that looks like since 2-3. Oh, okay, jump in is clean, but it was a little too far to get anything else afterwards. EX Fireball, good recognition of the timing of where the Fireball was, that it was going to expire. But unfortunately, Wavy is so on top of it. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Let's get the crumble state. We're already taking off to the skies, but look at the extra juggle to go for the knockdown here off the uh, medium series. Actually, happy to end it. Float open up the That's dome so cheap. here. That's yeah. so cheap. The stall is so good. Extra damage. Doesn't spend the meter that wants to hold on to it. Wants to wait for a guaranteed kill, and it's a good call. Very good, very good. Laid way back. Taking that first game over Wavy. I don't think we were that far off the Siegfried. Like, I think we were doing just fine. So fortunate that we got caught in that corner. Was a little uh, cautious on throwing out a DP in that position. 
because that float was the great opportunity that Wade was probably looking for to get out of that corner. Just at a low health, that was, it's hard to do those call outs, but that DP was immaculate. <laughs> oh my god. Initiating contact there, then going for the DP. Okay, 6XL plus the situation. Steps on the toes, gets the low DP to break out of the corner and uses the double jump no. again, not only to make the anti air whiff, but just to guarantee the side swap. Yeah, brilliant stuff here from late way back. A deep jump in on the heavy from late. Yeah, that's a punish there. Go ahead, start swinging with the medium. It's all right, but the DP right back. Oh, actually, because, all right, so traditionally, that fireball would have worked out for late, but because we put a fireball on top of it, it clashes, negates the hit, reaching six free jump. Oh, man, and the fireball moves so slow. I like that big step back from way before the poke. Plenty of time to react to whatever comes out. And Laid, a little uh, potentially just panic from the situation. Spot thoughts is early, but good way to kind of, you know, recenter yourself at the start of the next round here. Gets the poke, wins a little bit of space, but Wavy with the poke back. And he right after the parry. Nice call out here. And Wavy able to get a guard crush and forces two spends of bravery points on late way back. Good amount of damage here. I'm gonna spend as much as you can after that one to get the reinstall. Nope, crossed up. That's unfortunate. Okay, yeah. With one BP and the meter spent, that should do it. And it does. Not even needing the rest of the follow up here. One round apiece. Oh no, goes for the back. Special EX version. I look at the ground bounce of the connected, but he's just on the range for it. All right. Oh, very cheeky. He uses unique action to get a dash up to sneak in the throw there instead of following through with the uh, combination strike. The charge goes for ultimate skill. Nice. We get the same situation. Large spend on bravery points here. The refund of 25% because it was a stray hit, or the first hit rather, off ultimate skill. Oh my god, and no more playing around with the anti air shenanigans. But no, it doesn't kill. Ultimate skill fireball. Able to be avoided. No DP. Dash it up! And the reaction! No. It's the risk you take with the one button DP. You gotta know. Oh, good. What a pick up there from Wavy. And I don't think we had anything to really finish after that uh, juggle. Uh, we maybe could have done DP towards the end, but I don't think it would have killed. Nice 2H counter hit. Get the ground bounce. Very good route to go back to back heavy uh, combination there. Jump. This is the heavy. Just get some extra hang time. Ooh. Okay, 2M catches the back dash. Actually, that was the parry attempt. Excuse me. Okay. This is just to get to mid screen. Yeah. Just waking up with the normal though. No hesitation. I almost murdered somebody. All right. <laughs> Oh, man. Round sitting in favor of Wavy here. Jump back. Light series. So there's not a whole lot you can get off of that. Just has to continue the character to the Back special. Oh, good delay, but even on the punish, wasn't able to get much. Counter hit. Full confirm, but doesn't get anything afterwards. EX into the ultimate skill fireball twice in a row. Okay. Back ultimate skill here. Laid way back in trouble in terms of bravery points, but Wavy on the same situation. Oh no, drops the bomb. Down special blocks the jump. What a dash L here from Wavy. EXDP to close it out. 2 1 over laid way back. My goodness. Watching Wavy away from me. <laughs> oh man. Well, let's see if uh, let's see if Sora is able to uh, you know handle Vegeta. I mean, Vegeta's momentum obviously pretty ridiculous. Well rounded. Oh, but straight off the rip. 
Double hit six six L and a little bit of pressure, but the DP yes. as an answer. Yeah. That's always the threat that's going to be represented here from Zeta. That light DP. Yeah, look at the steel turns. Footsies. And quite literally, the far heavy Sora is able to get the flurry right after. Look at Fist for that because Zeta also wants to go for far heavy. And Sora is just that range so they can both go trade out on it. Nice. And you know, he's gonna win with that time and time again. Dude. Really commits to dash, goes for the forward oh, ultimate skill, Battle and two. catches him from trying to throw. Yeah, sells it really well in those spots. Just block on 6 6 L. Not getting much. Late tech, but the pressure continues. Has to use the guard cancel to get some air to breathe. Vegeta spends it in return. Good from Kiri. Oh, jeez. The X Lariat back off. Right here. Oh yeah, I mean he's able to beat out the flex there, just waits until the end is able to get the mainstay poke, but again with the follow through, like you said, is getting so much value crushing these attempts and throws the fear is palpable zero. Oh my god. <laughs> If you thought you could spot dodge, here's a far L. Anyways, next game, please. It's too easy taking it. It just hurts so bad, too. Like, it's like his mid screen hits are just like, you know, good corner carry, you know, pretty decent in those spots. When he gets you to the corner, he just has to be right once. It, like, in this situation, you are, you're, you are guessing for almost the rest of your life, far as we can ant here. Are you serious? Okay. All right, so get off the EXDP. Dash L, too far away for the first time. Come on, Kiri, please! <laughs> and what's crazy is that C is going for guard cancel. I guarantee you that was a guard cancel reaction. For sure. <laughs> okay, build the block out once again. DP on offense! Your wake up, our wake up, but no, no BP to counter. That'll close it. <laughs> Dude, what a move. bar fight of a round. <laughs> yeah, that is the perfect descriptor for that round. It's literally oh a bar God. fight. And in the end, someone picked up the bar stool and just chucked it across. <laughs> Dude, the, the, as soon as the round starts, the piano stops. That's ridiculous, but here we go. The throw in the corner. A third of your life already off the table. <laughs> Start canceled because we know we're in trouble. Fishing for the heavy, and you know, great button to fish for because that counter hit is gonna be so substantial. Calls out on the two ultimate skills. Yeah, first person there to go for the full hard call out of it. People have blocked it, but nobody's had the true answer. Blocks the guard cancel and goes for one of their own. No BP for C Weezy. I gotta get yourself out of this one. Oh my god! Tried to guard cancel, but got Raging Strike instead, thanks to the two ultimate skills from C Weezy. And just like that, we're back at 100 meters. DP is not going to be enough quite yet here. Oh, the DP threw the fireball, not quite close enough to get the punish. It was the idea that was there, but you ain't Ken Masters. You ain't making a poor approach. You're not Cheetah. You won't have the same DP. Oh man, there we go. Starting to use the 2M as a stop sign to these dash L's. We're starting to get, you know, a little more adjusted to the tempo here, it seems. There we go. Late tech. Gonna have to hold on to this corner position. Another late tech. And guard cancel. Kiri wants the offense. Stop. Stop. That's enough. Hey, one good DP deserves another. Block on the guard cancel. Spend one of their own. One BP between them. Seaweezy spends the last one to get out of the corner. And an unfortunate fate for Seaweezy off of that one. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> this has been this, <laughs> this is my favorite game. <laughs> Believe it or not, Gina is a gorilla character. This set has been so good. <laughs> Man. All right, jump you. Be so careful with this EX Lariat. Now that it's off the table, oh my God. we can do stuff. Kiri's different right now. Ultimate skill guard cancels it. Apply that pressure to M and space. Glenn give him some room. Like you said, knows the Lariat. As soon as the Lariat's on the table, we're a little less on the buttons here, which is yep. definitely the right call. Show caution and takes one single step back because that 50% is building up. One with punish on the far heavy. Are you kidding me? Two and into the corner for Kiri. Mm. 
I wouldn't have checked that throw. That was crazy. Kiri remaining. Kiri spends it for the guard hits. Oh, the corner! No, it's counter poke! No BP against Sorius! What happened to your life bar? No, you don't. You're you? so dead! <laughs> no BP? Goodbye. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> I didn't think. He, I didn't think. There was no way that she was dead. There was no way. I saw the 50% meter go away. Thinking, now nah, we're still okay. We're good. The final strike. Are you kidding me, Soros? Ooh. Trying to go for the whip punish there. Guard cancel just for some momentum. Nice poke. 5L is a hell of a button from Gita. <laughs> oh, Ooh. did you try to... You... I think... <laughs> I think you got blown up. Because your ultimate skill got devoured. There wasn't even one there for Gita. Kiri for the guard cancel right back in the corner. It spends it all. See, easy. Sees the finish line and is trying to cross it. One touch for either character potentially here. Splat dodges the throw late tech, but it's okay. And the heavy, not able to get the finish. Still one touch. Okay, the sweep. Fireball, not quite your turn. The far heavy. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god, it just wins footsies outright. <laughs> Oh All right, well, Fuselit up against K-Tang returning to the stream here. It's going to be K-Tang, of course, on the Narmaya. Fuselit with the Basaraga, who also got some changes for the better for this character. Stomp uh, on hit forces stand, so you get different combo routing for Basaraga now. A little more potent than this. Jump over wasn't quite deep enough for full confirm. A gets the air touch on this one, though, so see how it ends. Oh! Nice, guard cancel push out. Still 2L. Oh my no. god, and he's able to get the throw, the back though, no, back to the corner. Big Steffi is into the jungle, but doesn't get the kill. He stood Whoa. there menacing him. He just stood there. This is the sickest stuff here. Oh, boss with a great turnaround. He just stood there, did nothing. He just threatened me. Oh my god. Spot knock. Just get the knockdown. Forge is up. Let me take a full step. Just already sweeps. I'm not gonna lie, King Chaos. I thought the stream froze too. I really <laughs> actually. <laughs> oh, big steps once again. Gets the EX and finds the throw. Resets neutral. And Namaya. I mean, that's something at least to be happy for as you yeah. get chucked for a sixth of your life. Dude. The ultimate skill throw. 100 for 100 right now. Goes to the fall through and chips out into the blue. That's not quite enough. That's a bad K Tang. The only two times K Tang has been on the stream is when K Tang's been getting pulled. Like, this is enough. This is just me. So I need to stop. K Tang was smarter with the Sarmaya, okay? Hey, no BP remaining though. This could be the comeback. Just needs anything. Oh, Gets the no! jump and didn't believe. No, oh, it oh, K Tang. No. Oh, that was it. There's no BP. He was certainly dead. Magic. Okay. All right. Fuselit of Team Fuselit, the acronym. Uh, whatever the acronym is. <laughs> the slash, if we get the approach. Even though that dash L is shorter for Narmaya, there's something about Narmaya lately in this patch. There's some sus things. I'm, her throws kind of vacuum in lately. Is this is this new? Do they secret buff Narmaya? Her far L goes a little bit further than normal. I'm, got questions. Stare down continues. The stomp. Force the stand. The patience in stance is admirable. <laughs> Oh, and again, the reaction is good, but oh, nice from K-Tang. Good recognition of the situation. Anti-air command throw. Just gets him right as he lands. You almost got a full pickup off that? Are you kidding me? Stomp. Yeah, nice. He threw. Nice call from K-Tang. Not going to get called out by the command grab, because surely that was probably going to be the third or second step there. That's okay. We got the forge available. Reset the throw. Nice back throw. Activates a stance switch. Okay, we got our guard cancel out. 
Oh my no. god, the mileage is ridiculous. Go for it again, oh. this time the ultimate version. Please hold up, get out of there. It's not safe, okay, okay, yes. Okay. This time, the super, the skybound art. What a way to answer, no BP for Fuseless. One more interaction, certainly on a life lead here. Goes for stance, reset to throw. Don't you do this. You can't neutral jump against Fuseless anymore. k tag just stop. <gasps> We Last finally we, un we unlocked the low. Tries to go for it again. Not gonna work out. Fireball not quite far enough. Oh my god, but the ultimate fireball will certainly be good enough. You just forget that the option's even on the table. And we're seeing Fuselet utilize every resource in the arsenal of Basaraga to systemically demolish. <laughs> systemically? That's crazy! Okay, jumping is clean. Okay, nice. Got the heavy. Yeah. Was able to confirm into the flurry here. We're restabilizing here. Good staggers. Uh -oh. Got the back throw position here. Uselet. Got the low this time. Not going for throw quite yet. And we got the support out with the aggressive move, but unfortunately. Fuselet's still ready for it. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I've never seen that interaction before! <laughs> I've never seen that! <laughs> and we're invited to the dance into the top eight. We are gonna get to see Vayne! Okay, okay. Yeah, Bane is going to be interesting for this matchup here. We're going to see a lot of the shields up uh, against uh, 2B here. I think that's critical. The way that Ramshu is uh, sitting right on top of the shield, you absorb that one hit, you can challenge it, even if you're wrong on your initial swing, then you're still going to be safe as long as you're within the shield. And that's why we're seeing that back special as we sit right on top of shield. Great call, the patience, 2H. Back medium special here to get the corner carry. Go for EX for full extension. This is big damn. Absolutely. I mean, having so much hit stun on the v on the heavy version there, being able to get the clean juggle off of the anti air, dashes up and goes for the guard cancel, earns some room. That's the thing. Bane, super simple routing, doesn't need to get too fancy. Just a couple hits can combo uh, special to special with themselves. And once you're in the corner, it hurts. Like, come on. Don't even come within this range of back special. Bounce is doing a great job of being uh, a very effective wall sitting on a lead there. It felt like Senpai Spider didn't really have an idea of what to do against the way that the defense is being represented. Just uh -oh. like that, it doesn't get much of a reward, but you see the application there with that anti mm -hmm. so, Nice tech. And the, this is where the problem begins. You can't quite DP here. You're going to go for forward ultimate skill if you're main. But the problem is that nice there's such God. a short distance that it actually covers. You're mm. waiting for that moment for 2B to be right Battle within that three. sweet spot of Bane okay. getting that uh, invulnerable reversal. Oh, nice with punish there. Yeah, and that's... Oh, but no, it pushes a little too far. Not recognizing the distance there. There's a lot of momentum on the medium and heavy versions. Oh, jeez. Just the light. Sit right on top of shield. Go ahead. I'm waiting for the medium energy destruction to show up here. The medium back special. Because we spin a little bit further, we get a grounded wave coming through. Like, come on. <laughs> the range of that is so absurd. Oh, just dash up. Great dash L. Oh, sneaky, nice block. Really good from Senpai Spider. Another back special here. Senpai Spider looking worse for wear. Challenges on the Raging Strike attempt. It's supposed to be canceled, and there's that back special, the ultimate skill. Senpai will be killing here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, had to commit to the, uh, to the meter there to get that invincibility, but... Like I said, a little unfortunate there. 2B does end up winning it out in the end. And you saw another uh, piece of uh, like 2B versus Bane that we saw is the normal comes out on the shield and is able to just continue through with the <laughs> with the chain. They were able to pretty handily deal with that when on the ground at least.
Yeah, absolutely. Nice, already has the corner medium setups here. Got the bomb so can't actually get a DP in there. Has to spend the ultimate skill in case of uh thing. that between all of the two Bs we've seen throughout the tournament that little delay into that Battle the late overhead is so engage. ridiculous oh absolutely that's uh okay take it to backs up because you're worried about the threat of back special there oh no to a step too far ahead of the shield we'll get counter hit nice oh. 2m interrupt Bombs away, erases shield, you have to hold on to it. Okay, starting to work in the spot dodge here. Oh, and trying to work on the spot dodge on their own side. Again, that ultimate skill is too active to be able to really deal with anything here. And now this is one of the weaknesses stuck in the corner. I mean, you have good buttons, but for uh, the timing on them and how slow it is and Tubi's ability to whiff on it puts so much pressure on you. Oh. Dude, once yeah. you're cornered, that's a nightmare. Yeah, you know, both these characters have the exact same problem. If they get cornered, action. Well, we're going to get into this next loser's semis match here. It's going to be, or loser's quarter, excuse me, late way back versus fuse lit. Of course, Battle the fuse one. is lit when a boss rocket bomb is on the field. Oh, Ande, well, Ande with a $10 contribution. Thank you so very much for that. Screen scenario. Try to get an early spot down. Maybe expecting a fireball to come through, but like we said, you can follow through on that medium series. Even though it whiffs, you still get your full combination and continue. Oh. I'm sneaking a parry right there. That's why we got the back step. All right, ultimate skill for the crumble state. We'll push that corner again. Ends with the light, the gauntlet toss. Too far away for a throw, and that does allow for a full raging strike. Now into raging chain. You spent two BP on that? Are you kidding me? Okay. Big step, he's into the throw. Yep. Recognizing that the spot toss was going to come through. Dash forward and. Wow. Fully invincible. There is some secret tech. In this match. You have to time uh, the stomps, and you have to guarantee that the boss rock is going to keep stepping. Pairing every single step in rhythm, and you'll still get those dodges on. You don't have to go for the back one because back will spend four skill. You just go for the standard parry, the forward one, and uh, it'll work every single time. You stay close, you're able to get a punish. Nice. Took a little step back. Boys, the raging strike. Oh my god, in the gravity well, things getting a little bit messy here. One BP remaining might need for Garkant to sue, but instead we're gonna take the big step forward and is able to get the anti-air. Let's go for bombs. Yeah, we're already over it. Yeah, shoulder check. Nice medium series. Got the crumble state off the ultimate skill beam. Not quite killing it. Ooh. I am in love with the idea, but Lade does an amazing job counterplaying and staying cool once that roll comes through. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Starts at the back special. Not the guard crush, but not the, uh, the hit that we're looking for quite yet. Very sneaky, unique skill throw attempt. Mm. Oh no! Immediately into stance and already goes the throw. We got the back special for Lade. Got the DP with the float right after. Unfortunately, we get broken with this raging strike. Okay, big, big whiff puts you in an unfortunate state here. Combo as far as you can. The corner carry is the most important part of this ride. Ooh, and look at that, the quick float to get the jump heavy. Calls out the raging strike attempt from Fuse it, which was supposed to be the cancel. And then turn that back special there. Nice backdash. Yeah, 
And Recognize more blocking any of the bombs there, so he was able to sneak in the ultimate skill command grab. Oh my god, and tough guys on through. The armor is able to answer each lit. Oh my god. This is one of the top eights of all time. I, <laughs> am, I have so much footage to go back and watch. Wait a minute, why Why is it that when we get together, our grand blue, it's a fantastic top eight? This needs to keep happening. Oh my god. One. Send it again, use it. Let's see if we can keep that momentum up. The next fireball straight into the dash. Got your charge up using that armor. Mm. Nice throw. Oh, caught. Letting go block right there. That's the close medium start for Maserata. Dude, and I confirm this is what we've been talking about. This is why the throw is getting so much mileage. This was a low starter, and this is why you're so afraid to stay in those spots, you cannot just be jumping randomly. Great. Great. Ooh, guard cancel, but we go right into stop <laughs> and you just commit to it. That was a counter hit, no less. You gotta it's time it, like, there's nothing she could do out of it, unfortunately. She doesn't have DP, she has to hold that. That's the problem. Like, 2B has a severe problem against stops and has to go for carry to get out. That's her only option out if she does that. Great. Oh. neutral jump even too. Like you could jump out, but your concern is the grab or even a hit there. Or stomp. See, they can it. Roxy, what does 2B do about this? The walk is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Hey Alexa, Keep play back. walking by Denzel Curry. Is <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Again, that is the option. That is what you're supposed to do. You go for parry attack. It does work. But when your back is against the wall. I appreciate you. Oh man. Alright, let's get back to you. No, know, shake it out, yes. chat. Deep breaths. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shake it We're back in the match. We're back into match here. We got the switch up. Back to the Matera. As Taylor Swift would say, shake it off, shake it off, we're going into the next one. Kiri up already with an aggressive EX Rekka start for the corner position. Hey, double butterfly is not gonna be able to access him though. The ultimate skill timing, very good. Command movement to get out of the corner, slick stuff. So we're able to escape and now we have a lot of room to roam here able to use that command movement to space out a little bit better as mustard pie with a ten dollar contribution to the match reno thank you very much for that appreciate it nice roll slowly making our approach forward here to close the gap against patera the patience required for this approach it is excruciatingly difficult to keep up because you get knocked right back to the full speed scenario and you start to work all over again. Final break point spent. What a neutral jump. Actually, it's after the crossover with the jump Q. Not quite getting the wall. Blocks the ultimate skill. Kiri steals around. Patience kills. So smart and so strong to be able to play it patient. Like you said, it is a grind to get back when Matera is able to get full real estate control there on the jump in the command movement doesn't quite work out the way we want to get Ciant here either way though back to full screen <laughs> this onslaught. I don't I'm tilted already I got hit like four five times and I'm mad nice block oh but unfortunately didn't get opened up by the second explosion you see a lot of uh players trying to forward advance over butterflies so using just the classic tactic because you don't want to hold that block stuff you press the ultimate skill to go for additional block run against Matera, so you can ignore the trap setup from the butterflies. So when you find your one hit, you have to make it count. Gotta stay sticky here in the corner. Careful for the command movement. Use the ultimate oh, skill to try and ignore it. This is the exact same sequence that has happened last time, though. Senpai Spider out of the corner, but instead yep. of giving room, gets aggressive this time. I really like that choice. Yes, yes. Senpai Spider, a very specific style of Matera can of course play the full screen game, but more often than not, will play right to your face and be very aggressive, utilizing some of those short hops, locking into a corner position, and look at that already. Short hop after a couple far L's here to get things going. There's some low, didn't get much else afterwards. Nice ant here, spacing, immaculate as always. Oh, 
Okay, very scary scenario because you're right in the face of Gita. And she's not pressing. You're fortunate enough to get the jump back with no DP, no rising sword. DX reckon to push ever closer to the corner. No. No, I, I get why you would do that. You're trying to read yeah. the shot from Matera there because you let the butterflies get ever closer. Unfortunately, you get full punished for that. Okay, good timing on the jump there. Gets the punish. Doesn't actually get a full confirm for it. Guard cancel and it gets the counter hit afterwards. Senpai Spider once again, patience and defense wins the game. Dude, slow and steady has been the choice, but it looks like we might get a switch. We're coming off the cab for a second here. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a Vera. Okay. Versus Matera. Okay, interesting choice here. In I mean, Battle one. Vera is certainly Engage. better in this iteration of the game. Very uh, previously Reverse in the bracket. <laughs> Missile throw, yo, level 2M, my goodness. Oh, on the overhead. Again, sets up the double butterflies. Tries to go for the command move, but this time the spacing is correct. Again, that's the same sequence that the Senpai Spider was able to escape with a couple times in a row now. Hmm. Stance applied. Off the wall, one more hit will do. Combo limit kind of acquired. <laughs> With confidence, walks towards the, uh, <laughs> the butterflies there. <laughs> we'll try to take aim, but the flurry comes through from Gary. That's so smart, too. I mean, we see it in, uh, in, against a lot of zoners in games like this. It's just taking those steps forward, being patient with your approach. A lot of the time, if you're able to take like a character length uh, worth of space and then block the projectile, that is enough of a win. You can't yeah. get impatient with it. Absolutely right. It, trying to steal out the startup, a lot of those interactions there is so critical. Utilizing an ultimate skill to get that uh, moment of invulnerability is also Good block on the card cancel. Strips of BP for it. But returns it right back to Senpai Spider. Shut down the startup. The fireball was already active there. Okay. Lift, late tech. Still able to catch with the dash L and wants the corner position so we go for guard cancel right off of it. Pass, pass the butterflies, gets the hit and the knockout, and the knockdown again just turns into a kill. Gary, evening it up here. The pick's looking amazing, but Senpai Spider, yeah, I was just about to say we did see them earlier on the 2B. So maybe yes. the switch, the counter pick back and forth here. There is some counter picking that Senpai has available. Senpai floating on Matera and 2B lately, but let's also not forget that there is an Uno available from Senpai. But yeah, we've seen this float back and forth. Uh, even Senpai's Spider was playing two brackets yesterday and one bracket got to see 2B, other got to see Matera for the whole bracket. <laughs> Okay, max distance on that, looking for the poke. Trying to go for this zoning as best you can here. Trades. Nice throw. Be very cautious there. Oh. <laughs> definitely strong, didn't find much for it. Ultimate skill between the two, but Beerus wins the day and off the knockdown. Oh, not gonna find much actually. Was expecting a much bigger result and a much bigger reward for it, but fortunately back to the corner. Yeah, and unfortunately Senpai can't finish that job because we're out of skill. Nice roll, but didn't challenge and allow Senpai to press medium. Yeah, and I we did see the ultimate skill from Senpai get beat up by Barry. That was supposed to be ultimate skill B, and that's a full screen confirm opportunity for 2B there. And Kiri with a much faster projectile option. It's almost you know, that hit scan opportunity because it appears right on top of the opponent. Okay. We'll follow through into the knockdown. It's a lot of real estate for it, but it leaves you a little too far away. You don't have the frame advantage to be that aggressive. Zenbox Spider finds the hit and the confirm off the ultimate skill bombs. Locked in and ready to go.
a uh, like I said, a hell of a character spread between this top <laughs> eight coming Andrew. down into the top Battle four. Sorry continues to shine, and I feel like it's partially the character, and partially just see Weezy is different. Like <laughs> the reads and the footsies from this player is ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. Being able to fish out uh, massive counter hits that far heavy is insane for C Weezy here. Right, dash L, Ooh, and just goes for two L. It wasn't a dash L, it was a dash up L from Wavy there. Okay, with 2M though, nice poke. Good confirm here. Spend that damage as best you can. Get rid of CU Easy. No opportunity for the comeback here. That's the kill for Wavy to take round one. Yeah, I mean, very dominant corner position there. Difficult for Soros to get out of the true reversal opportunity. Dash L with no confirm. Here we go, the overhead. Very rare. Standing light. An impressive as hell button as we get the EX straight into the corner. Spends it again, but there's the punish. Very carry over to the corner here. Very patient, expect to see. Wavy has seen this trick time and time again. We're seeing Weezy commits to that dash into the down ultimate special. And we got the spot dodge, a perfect punish, get the side swap, and here we go. Raging Chain will close out the game here, Wavy. Puts a point on the board in this first of three match. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight back into the rematch. With, uh, you know, as far as matchups go, definitely the right call here. Wavy Siegfried has been looking very strong. Gets the tech right at the start. It, it cannot be deterred. Goes for it again. Oh my god, this close heavy counter hit. Bring it back down with the raging chain. How so much damage we did just for 12 hits already. Respect the fireball, nice little spot dodge. No approach from Wavy, so the far heavy is not going to work out, but this one will certainly work out here. Wavy with the raging chain to corner position, safely installs. Yep. Ultimate skill in this poke here, and there you go once again with the OS, just swinging it out with the normals, looking really good. Nice little 2M confirm into the raging chain one more time here to get that quick combo confirmed to triple attack. Didn't even need it there with that damage output. Siegfried looking real strong right now for Wavy. 2 you and the special. Oh, nice. Is that close heavy one more time here. Corner position to put ourselves into that 50% life lead. Drops out early. Too far for a follow up from C Weezy off that 2L. So Wavy still gets to bully their way through. Oh. Show for it though. Wavy gets up. You cannot give any room. Gets the counter hit. No confirm from it. Too far away though on that one. Get through the confirm right into the skybound art. Good game here for Wavy. A quick 2 0 lead right now over C Weezy. C Weezy, I mean, just needs one. It's just more mileage per hit, it feels like. A lot of the times when we see stories win, it comes from big touches like this that turn into a knockdown, and the next confirm after that is where the damage really comes through. But hasn't been able to get the follow-up. Wavy's defense on the initial knockdowns, the initial resets, has been ridiculous. Yes, yeah, Scatter dash L here for quick interrupts. Keeps poking with 2M. It has a lot of great conversions into that big damage that Siegfried has access to. There's a lot of great options for Siegfried to convert into big damage combos. See Weezy gonna try to start off here with that Raging Chain follow-up here. Now that we just got ultimate skill, can't kill quite yet because of combo limit. What a DP. Wait a minute. No bravery points. Wavy can turn this around because we do have the Skybound Art if we so choose. But the chip, yeah, the threat became very real. Great patience from C Weezy for that too well. Battle two. Engage. What kind of momentum you need to build? Finds the punish, but can't find the confirm for it. There he is to maintain pressure into the corner, but there's that DP. Shane. Wants that corner carry. Got the EX Lariat for it. Too far for the kick. Over. Okay. Nice. Oh. Okay, little get off me action there. Ultimate skill answered by the Gnar cancel does work well. One BP between the players here, and no BP for C Weezy. So the high potential for the comeback here for Wavy if you can maintain. But unfortunately, there's no room to C Weezy on the board now. Yeah, no.
Yeah, so careful. Tried to rip a Hail Mary DP, but you have a game to play with, so you can take risks like that. You have two games to play with, obviously, before it becomes you know, a do or die type of situation. Wow! That was a great counter hit from CDZ after the fireball. Dash M for that knockdown, but get gutted by the. Oh, but straight in reverse. Go for one of their own, pushed away on the two, uh, the 6 6 L. Out too far away, tried to interrupt, maybe put a 2M out there from Wavy, but far heavy from Sea Weezy. Nice spot dodge. Okay, needed the EX Fireball this time, not looking to confirm. Does work out in the end, though. Should be able to spend everything to secure the kill. Keep it simple. You're absolutely right. As simple as can be with that Raging Chain back to back to close out the health bar. And now we're back on match points here for Wade to close out the winner's finals. These Bart Ebbs really finding great success here. Last round, or last game, it did not so much. CGZ was able to get that pick. Quick counter hit. Actually ran away from the match. Nice DP on reaction to the ultimate skill. Mm. Next on the counter hit though. Here in the corner, cashing out a decent amount of damage here. Half life and finds another counter hit, but can't get anything for it. Cash up L. Oh, interesting. I'm very surprised that whiff. Wow, it's straight up goes, spends the meter and is able to secure Wavy on the Siegfried. It's gonna be locked in. Wrong, let's see it. I mean, just from the footage I've seen, it feels like Basaraga has the tools. Once we're able to get our unique action up and we're able to find the knockdown, once that momentum starts to roll, it feels like they, he can get there, but yeah. Just like that. A couple spot dodges there. That's very good. Goes for the light series right after. So cautious. Would go for the bread and butter corner combo here. Doesn't have enough to get the back EX special for full damage. So we go for quick knockdown. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, too far from the machine gun there. Ooh. Activation. So this is where it starts. This is where we start to bully. Gets the hit. Re ups once again. Good guard can't see the parry comes into play, but that's a big skill spend. And with the nerf to 2B, it's going to take quite a bit of time for that to come back up here. You go for your light series to add pips, but now we're slowly building up here. Okay, nice. and is able to secure. Okay, uh, played it way more secure, and it felt like Fuselet never really had the opportunity to go for those bullying situations that we saw before. Uh, the standout thing for Fuselet has been EX Command Throw. Uh, yeah. EX and Ultimate Command Throw has been landing so consistently. Zenfy Spider playing at spaces where it's not even a factor. Yeah, absolutely. Like we can counter zone a lot against, uh, you know, Basaraga. Keeping the threat of medium special is very important there because you get that instant beam. But now that we have Dark Forge applied, I have to be very cautious. Yeah. Uh, there's stop. Now you're caught in the corner. Double jumps out. Oh, oh. No, 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 what? At the last second. And that was just a jump you here to get the kick away. Good nice space. parry. Dad, parry, like you said. Kind of crazy on that one. Beam comes through. Doesn't actually get the U action to come up. So a little unfortunate there. Taking the damage for no reason. Parry. Yeah, it's going to be, like I said, very important to showcase a unique skill here from 2B in this matchup in particular. And a heavy to shut it down. Is that the first JU you used in tourney? You might be right with that, actually. Maybe. Yeah, I'm I, look, I'm not a record keeper of every single Grand Blue tournament, but it's the first one I've seen this bracket for sure. <laughs> Ooh, spot touches back and forth between the two. Actually stuffs the start up there as we try to go stance. It doesn't work out in our favor. Mm -hmm. Heavy misses the gauntlet and still pops a full swing. Yeah, pushing right out. That space again. Like you said, staying at a full screen range against Vasaraga, just still being a threat with bombs, even laser. It's, it's been like this. This like two character length has been ridiculous for 2B, yeah. it feels like. 
And that gives you all the time in the world to go for those heavies. So even if you come out of stance a little bit early, heavy will connect. If you commit to stance, you're gonna absorb that initial hit anyways and still interrupt 2B. <laughs> Get the roll through on the hit! <laughs> That's a great call. Oh my goodness. The opposite here. Bombs knocked out off the fireball, able to close the distance completely. Goes for the low, and just defense so far has been corrected them by Spider. So when we do find this hit, we gotta make it count. Not quite enough to kill. Oh no! Sets up bomb, absorbs all of the stocks of armor. Senpai Spider going up around. And yet, we did get the roll through on the stomps, but we still got hit on the other side. But Boss Rider's committed to facing the same direction. He's he can't turn around until you get out of the stance. Knock down, two off the guard cancel. Jumps and finds a throw. The empty jump, kind of crazy. Ultimate skill against the wall. Gets the action charged up. How do you spend it? Looks for the step, but gets chunked. Put your medium beam here. Bombs away. Nice parry. Doesn't opt to do it again, though. Okay, and the ultimate skill fireball wins the day on that one. Fuse it, looking a little better on this one. Only finds the one command throw. Hasn't been able to get nearly as much value as we've seen previously. Forward roll through, ducks away from the throw from Fuselet. Senpai Spider is moving, and it's so important because otherwise Boss Rock, as we've seen, can really bully 2B. That is her big weakness. She can easily be bullied, but if you remove the opportunity, if you're simply not there, there's no way you can be bullied. <gasps> oh, but there's a back hitbox there. Puts the scythe down, gets the punish, gets almost nothing for the punish, though. That is painful. Oh, okay, big slash. Get blocked from no crumple state. You ran into it. It's your fault. The medium series is the finisher. Hold the plus frame. Oh, nope. missed the roll. Missed the roll there. That was an attempt to start it. Came through once again with the ultimate skill this time. Too far and gets the counter poke. Oh, Fuselet had an opportunity to try and snowball that one with Senpai Spider. Just a little too quick on the draw and a little too clutch. The Sorries. Listen, WrestleMania weekend, time to finish the story. I, I need the run back. <laughs> I mean, we shall see here. Okay, hold up. He said, buda, 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 buda. Was like, already in the corner? Oh, God. Yeah, hell of a whiff punch there, but time to go into the minigame here. Senpai Spider. Safe and solid. Nice anti air. The reaction time. Looking on point. All right, nice shot. Five L draws a line here, makes it very difficult for Series to get that approach. Good hop. Another blast here has to block the butterfly. Spot dodge on ultimate skill. That was very preemptive spot dodge there from Seaweezy, but Senpai again with that very quick burst to approach the opponent. You know, you can sit there resting on the zoning game from Matera, but Senpai's. Sometimes aggressive. We'll flip the switch, like I said earlier, immediately to go for a hop. You can kind of call you out trying to spot dodge or even approach forward. Oh, and a great interrupt there as well. Not going to take the turn steal sitting down. Works out, but I can't believe it. Woke up, press buttons, the overhead on dash M. Not getting the guard cancel sent by Spider. Oh, wow. Dropped it though. Yeah, unfortunately, no kill. And there we go. Was able to land that axe kick once again to be able to get the anti air. Stop that jump away. Very strong stuff. Wow. That's been every single round start. See, Weezy has that so well scouted. 2M getting with punished entirely with the five with the five L. That's crazy. Corner position one more time here. Gets a quick tech out there and does sneak in a throw with the butterfly bomb. Senpai Spider takes complete control in this first game. 
And with uh, with how a lot of these games have been going, it's a uh, feeling like a marathon of a game compared to the pace that we've seen <laughs> in the rest no of this top kidding. phase. No kidding. All right, corner position one more time. Got the dash L very deep, so it's able to follow up with the five L. Oh no! Tried to ex lariat there, but the explosion hitting right on top after the arrow shot. The hard to block situation, quite the fuzzy. Mm. Vortex came through for the second time. Blocks the ultimate skill. Still has two butterflies in the corner. That is just a nightmare scenario there. Senpai Spider gets the dream setup with the knockdown with the two butterflies. And it's starting to look like a, a dream. If anything, if Sea Weezy can try to stop this onslaught from Senpai Spider here. Another shot sets up the barrier one more time. The 5L got a block low. I love how aggressive we're picking this up too. Just being so offensive in these spots, using the command movement to great effect. Gets the breakaway with the ultimate skill butterfly. Actually doesn't get as much value as we were expecting. Just holding the block. It's nice. Oh, the dash L. Tries to pressure through. Draws with the 5L one more time. But ultimate skill lariat. My god. The damage from C Weezy is building up. And the jump into nothing. Okay. Yep, straight through to Super Skybound. R takes the kill. Senpai Spider puts another one on the board. And looking like it might be a 3-0 here victory. if Sea Weezy can't get some kind of major adjustment. Because Senpai Spider, offense, defense, neutral, everything in between is looking ridiculous, dominating every facet right now. It's, it's one thing to deal with a Matera that is committed to zone, but in the hands of Senpai Spider, you're dealing with a Matera that is comfortable in both zones, like you said, right? You have the rushed out approach here, the set play from Senpai Spider to keep you locked in this corner position, but also you knock Senpai Spider out, so make it a nightmare for you to get right back in. And even there, Seaweed is able to find the DP, goes for the roll through, and does get out of the corner and generate some value, but unfortunately, the value immediately destroyed by the command movement, but here's an opportunity. Oh, oh. Kick. One more shot is all that Senpai Spider is looking for, but the Lariat connects. There's a Raging Chain. Not quite going to kill yet. Oh no! Tried to go for the guard cancel, but we're seeking a throw. See, Weezy barely steals it away. Engage! Now we're team so often here. Into the corner. Sets up the butterflies, which is going to buy you a lot of real estate, but the guard cancel actually lets you dash straight past. Oh no, trying to go for the 5L, but already had the ultimate skill Lariat to follow through. Hit combo, but great recognition from CUEs because they could have followed up right after. <laughs> nice guard cancel. <laughs> Control story, so I feel like either way it would have gone well, but probably just more comfortable with the, the legacy knowledge of this matchup. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's just so frustrating for this character alone to try to get in. <laughs> like, yeah, you got ultimate skill Lariat, but like, look at the onslaught that Senpai can put out on the screen. I got a regular shot, I can set up a beam, nice spot dodge. Yeah, two important questions. When, you're, when your matchup relies on one big tool, two important questions. What do I do until I have it? And what do I do if it doesn't work? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, you got the DT. Look at the life deficit. We do get the side swap that's important for Sea Weezy, but Senpai has been holding on to that bravery point. And is okay with spending it here. That Lariat does connect. And now this is the price you pay for spending those bravery points. The block reversal. Sea Weezy takes that round. Two touches. Battle two. Too much BP spent by Senpai Spider. As soon as that hit comes through, there's only one BP remaining. The extra damage. Sorry's needs no help in that department gotta be so careful if you're gonna spend the guard cancel here and put yourself at a defensive deficit by putting yourself down to one bravery point you gotta be cautious of these ultimate skills from Soren's. that lariat costs so much for senpai spider okay. the butterflies is definitely good mm -hmm. good Waits for the butterflies to close that gap. Nice little spot dodge from Sea Weezy. 
some patience though. See, Weezy doesn't have to go in, but is only going in simply because we don't want to take that chip damage from these specials. So we get close enough as a threat, but we're still biding our time. There's no need to be reckless with the approach because the victory will come to you so long as you are patient on your offense. See, Weezy up to all in the set right now. Plus, having the lead in that spot, I mean, Senpai Spider is going to play a similar type of zoning game, but it's going to be more enticed to try and take opportunities if they're there. So you have a way better chance to be able to find the whiff punishes that Seaweezy has been destroying people with today. It's been the footsies a lot of the time. You can just get that lead. I feel like Sorius has a much better chance here, but securing the lead, easier said than done, getting pushed back to the wall once again. Corner position, nice spot dodge from the Lariat. The dash L. Nice guard cancel again. Sent by Spider just looking for the final hit. Does sneak in the anti air. This first hit, I feel like, is really going to decide everything here. Too easy. Oh, unfortunately, sent back to full screen, so the momentum heavy in Sent by Spider's favor. I feel like, at least just for the mental game, you really needed to find that first touch to be able to get that thing on your side. Yeah, just a close heavy. Far heavy than uh, that's what a pickup. Wow, Proxy, remember when that super missed? <laughs> Many moons. Many moons. Wow. What a time. What a time. When that when that super best place to start. Hey, no 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 no. No, actually, Koma, you play Eustace or Zoe, but those are both actually fine characters. Eustace right now is actually pretty solid like you're not seeing the so top eight victory. no but this is still a, a tough Engage. character to deal with so he's good to come on but here we go getting us started in the grand oh, final senpai spider great. sticking with the 2b here and getting that big whiff punish to start yeah, already medium serious to fall through in the corner yes. oh goes for ultimate skill for the crumple state to send the damage home the attempt read like a book. Senpai Spider with the 2B taking the round. Battle 2. Engage. Oh. Starts with Bob, the down special. Are you kidding me? I'm even more surprised that it went straight over the 6XL as well, but there we go. Cross up. Follow up here, triple attack to corner carry, ground bounce. Get a little extended height for Raging Chain. The skybound art. Okay. He's gonna compromise spot here as the throw is not enough to kill, but a terrible situation. As we wake up with the normals, gets the hit, doesn't get much for it though. Back to neutral, and that's not what you want to see. Uses the EX to nullify, but still a huge advantage to Wavy right now. Yeah, honestly, this is a single touch. Wow, saves yourself. No, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, unfortunately, max range on heavy series from 2B. It's a little tricky, but the far end does fall through. Strips all bravery points. Way to lose this touch. It's just a single special. <gasps> okay, this is a trap. This is a very rare move to see for 2B. You don't get popped back until 2B spends that action. There is a time where it does come back by itself, but what a DP. Of course, why not? Honestly, why not? Literally, all that you had to do in that scenario for Senpai was four goals or even go for parry attempt. Regardless, Wavy had a perfectly fine call to go for DC. You're dead no matter what. Okay, connection all the same, goes to the chain, keep that distance closed. Not much on mix-up here. Mix-up turns into Wavy's turn, dashes up with the 6XL, finds the knockdown, and oh my god. Bob bombs away. That's a lot of skill spent for those last two interactions there from Senpai, but the double jump into Heavy. Oh my goodness, ultimate skill. Just in the nick of time, you don't even need to spend it. Senpai Spider putting their first game on the board in this grand finals.
Felt like Wavy had the sauce there with the anti-air, but it just didn't quite work out. Gets beaten by the massive normal from 2B as the, two, uh, the 6-6-M not quite finding his mark on the low. Jumped in. Yeah, there's the heavy. Great start from the grounded normal there to get the anti-air. 2M, no escape. Very good 2M, though. Nice spot dodge on the chain. Harry, Senpai's really been utilizing the unique skill from uh, 2B quite efficiently. Ultimate Fireball also just gets spot dodged right away. These fireballs not being nearly as effective for Wavy in this matchup as they have been in the others. Nice, got the crowd bounce there with the back EX special. The game is mounting here for Senpai. Ran into it. That's your own fault, though. Yeah. Your oh, this time it doesn't have a throw, though. It's able to maintain pressure. Throw doesn't work out. Does get the whip punished. And ultimate skill is actually interrupted too early. Is your parry? Two L start, but only has Gatling available. That anti air is going to be spectacular here. You get the chain carry. Rips a bravery point with Skybound Dark. Oh, nice roll. Still got two elements. Oof. Oh, nice. 2 0 oh, lead. Victory. Battle one. I am surprised to see. I mean, maybe it's just for the experience here. I'm surprised to see the, the Sinkery stick out, though, but. Maybe they know this is the way. Getting the poke, tries to follow up with the EX a little too far, but there's the DP. Yeah, you know, I'm almost the Grizz to be here. I'm surprised that we're not seeing Cactus Elstra. Like, that should be the... Because you can lock down 2B quite efficiently with that character. So also, Siegfried has so much strength behind him. I think it might just be the damage output from Siegfried that maybe is looking out for. There we go. All right, canceled out. Now you get to be such a bully. Calls out the DP. That's a round here for Wavy. Yeah, a good call on the block and a good use. Finally getting some value out of the ultimate skill fireball there to find the knockdown. A couple two L's there. Better on that one poke from pretty far, but the parry works out again. Away there. Wow, okay. Heavy got the end here, but no follow up. Low to the ground for that. Next hit on the heavy series, a little bit slow on the ground. Okay. Oh. Wow, and just consistently using their own EX to stop the fireball, whether it's been spot dodge or it's been just canceling out the fireball. Again, they've just been not getting the value that we've seen in the earlier parts of the set. Senpai Spider is threatening the reset. With right now. All right, good anti air. Better stagger. Light triple attack here. Oh, the cheeky reset for the combo limit into the raging strike. Forced out the bravery point from Senpai, and again, able to DP the parry, much like Lil Wayne's parry. It's still react was in for six, right? It's one of those things you can make a solid call out. And a solid call off pays off for Wavy to take their first game. I feel like being able to use the, uh, the jumping normal, I believe it's JU, to be able to change up your timing on the jump has been working out well for Wavy. It's found a couple knockdowns in a row. It's been kind of messing up the timing from Senpai Spider. Yeah, yeah, that JU is very interesting to see. A little taste of uh, 2B's own medicine right there for that button. Nice, got the medium. Spot dots there too. And now we're out of skill. This is a great opportunity for Wave to press the offense. The 2M finds the mark. I can't believe it hit from that far away. Ooh, looking for more of the same. After the jump in, 2M gets spot dodge. 6XL gets parried. Too far away for that DP. 
A lot. Great read from Wavy. Not quite getting the corner. It resets the hard crush. Oh my goodness. There's a sp dodge on Wake Up. I've seen this one before, says Senpai Spider. And Senpai can send this one home with all that. No! Wrong special! Okay. Oh. It's fine, though. We fixed everything. No consequence for our actions. It's okay. Mistakes aren't mistakes with no punishment. Again, reset point. It was supposed to. Oh, no, actually, I wonder what it was because, like, we had the regular special go off. It was supposed to be the EX back special, I would imagine, but we only did neutral special. Oh, dash up L. Thanks to the fireball working out. And great timing for that parry here. Punish once again. Sticking with the chain. Looks for the spot dodge here. Ultimate bomb nullifies a lot of the uh, echo pressure we were going to get off of our fireball here. Finds the throw on Wavy's pressure, actually. Immediate cancel into SSBA. Not going to get the full animation because it was too high up, too far away. Not quite at the tip range. Oh, we could just rip a DP. Wavy taking around. If you've seen the way that Ravy, Wavy has played in the rest of this bracket, you got to know that staggers are not going to be effective against her right now. She is in the zone when it comes to DPs. Absolutely. Especially when your life is literally a touch away. She's looking for a single gap for that. Her tech neutral jump. Oh, no. Fully committed to the attack combination. Senpai Spider is really paying the price for it. Almost at Skybound Art there. Goes to the reset for the damage mitigation. Oh my god. Boom into death. Just like that, Wavy ties it up to all. Wavy looks so much more comfortable in that round for some reason. I don't know what changed, but in that final round, everything kind of clicked from the neutral jump to everything in between. And it was so fortunate, you know, like Senpai over committing with the uh, attack combination from 2B here was absolutely perfect for Wavy to tee it off in the victory. Dash L got the five crush here. They're both even on bravery points right now. Normals finds the overhead DP in response. Wavy says, hey, me too. Yeah, she's definitely running away with it right now. Dash L to push back into the corner. Max range, so even the heavy's not going to connect. Great spot dodge. It's not Wavy's turn. She wasn't ready for it from Senpai. And look, you know that Wavy's spell of blood right now. No, nope, no spot dodge. Expected the ultimate skill beam from 2B here. Bombs away. And now both in the final touch situation. Both at 50%. Ultimate meter. And yes. because of the slow startup, from the bombs, we're able to go for the EX Ultimate Fireball to get slow recovery when you activate your ultimate skill. Set point now for Wavy, obviously coming from the winner's side. He'll turn back there, jumping comes clean, but the throw for the punish. <laughs> wow, stuff for startup of the ultimate skill there, not working out the way they've kind of planned it. 6XL gets away. Bomb. Nice spot dodge and beam. Oh, got the confirm. Tons of work here for Wavy to do. The, the close heavy back to back into Raging Chain. Take as far as you can. Even if it doesn't kill, it's worth the damage here. Definitely the right decision. Oh, oh my god! Another one here. He charge up the wave. One touch is all that we need for the confirm into SSBA. Could be all that we need too. Nice full block on the super DP to finish. Wavy with patience, not falling for the follow-up hits from SSBA. We'll stop the reset here. A reverse sweep, three to two victory over Senpai Spider.